Welcome to another Reddit video. Thank you all so much for 6.9 million subscribers. It looks like we may hit 7 million before the end of the year. So if you are enjoying the videos recently and you are not subscribed, I would very much appreciate it if you could do that. I also have some new glasses, which is great because I'm not using these blue light glasses. I uh, got sold on these old blue light glasses and I was like, yeah, those would be great. I'm at my computer all the time. But then I realized they literally reflect all this blue light back at you guys. So you can actually see me a little more. We're jumping into the Reddit. What do we have right here? Poor Vic, Pewds, WTF, I met Vic, so I didn't even know it. Also, Vic Star, one of my favorite moments of my career was meeting PewDiePie. Okay, I wouldn't go that far. We'll pull up the clip right now, because I did see this in his recent video. I met so many cool dudes thanks to YouTube, it's crazy. So many cool oh, dudes. I met cool. Shadow Lady before, and I didn't even realize that. What the f***? I met Vic Star, I didn't even know that. <laughs> what the f***? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, so you know what? That was quite interesting. So that was back at the YouTube Creator Summit in New York. I want to say in 2015. Yeah, I had like actually a few conversations with Felix. And you know what? Evidently, he had no idea who I was. But he was actually really nice. Um, he entertained the conversation and uh, chatted away. And I had no idea that he had no idea who I was. So that's actually a good sign um, with a lot of YouTubers and a lot of people in this space. I tend to judge people more on how they speak to someone who they don't know who they are. Whereas when it's someone that they already know, um, people tend to, you know, be inclined to act in a certain way, maybe be a little nicer, perhaps more of a yes man. So you know what? There we go. That's a good mark of a good person. He was, you know, pleasant to me, even though he had no idea. So, you know, ratings, ratings, Felix, ratings. No one. Vic in the back of JJ's car. <laughs> Only I could be that uncoordinated. This is the collarbone I broke. You know, you guys want a little update. Here we go. Inside Intel. You know what? The scar is... Okay, you see it a lot when I do that. You can still see, like, some of the screws, like, sticking out a little bit. How weird is that? My shoulder's messed up. Um, you can watch me do that injury live. But I guess, actually, on a, on a better note, shout out all of the uh, surgeons in France, in the Alps, because... Like, my shoulder is completely fine. I can, like, everything, like, lifting strength-wise is the same on this side as this size. Side, I don't have, like, any imbalances. Um, I've got full mobility, utility. I actually thought it was kind of awkward and painful for quite a while, so I thought I was going to have to have the plate removed. But it's kind of settled in. A lot of the time, I actually forget I even have a metal plate in my collarbone. No idea what the long-term implications are going to be to having it there, but right now, we're plain sailing. That's a nice thing. Still can't believe that happened. Like I said, there's an entire video of me pulling off that injury. Just search Vicstar Broken Collarbone. You're in business, enjoy. One of the hardest edits I've made. Don't let this flop and use it for your memes. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> I'll take any award I can get. I'll take any award I can get. Oh, here we go. Vic actually meant that kick. And you know what? I remember this moment well. Perhaps I did. Perhaps I did. Here we go. You can still use that thing. Can we? That's a bad game. Get in. Get You are the football. <laughs> kick him. Everyone kick him. Everyone <laughs> 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 went. Everyone kick him. And that one did. I just booted him one. You know what? I was actually pissed, okay? Because I've waited all day to film my video with the giant football. I'd had it in the locker for ages. I knew it was going to be a banger. To be fair, I think it's my most viewed video to this day. 25 million views. And I was so pumped for it to be like a great video. And about six six attempts in, and JJ pops the ball. <laughs> he had to get the boot. <laughs> he had to get the boot from me. All right, what is this? We've got the, the Sidemen Champion League intro. Why does this sound like how we would actually voice this over? <laughs> and JJ had done that to me that day, so that's why I kicked him too. That happened before. <laughs> Ethan actually got violated the worst. Well, there we go. Absolute champions. That's us. How do we win charity football matches? Who lets that happen? Please do it, Vic. I guarantee this would bang. We need a Harry, Vic, and Toby podcast that comes out once a month on a Monday where they talk about life and conspiracy theories and stuff. That would be the greatest thing ever. You know what? It would be so different to every other podcast that's, that exists. Who knows? You know what? I would be down. I would personally be down. I just I don't know about the rest of them. Mural of Vic in Germany by Kim Sia Nast Nastuk? On Instagram? 
What? That is crazy. I've seen a lot of like fan artwork and things. Pfft, that's mental. I'm I, I actually, I'm not worthy. I'm sat here like I'm not worthy. They've got the Ravens logo there. I'm going to have to tweet that out after I've recorded this. That needs to get some more exposure. I would have not even known that was a thing without my Reddit. So shout out you guys. Shout out all the members. Thank you, Jazz1801, for posting this. Do you guys remember this? You know what? This may have been the only TikTok that I made that I actually thought was okay. Here we go. The classic. It gets you, you know. Because <laughs> you're like, wait, what? <laughs> I'm fully decked out. Man, I miss holidays. Ah, I'm big sad. I want to go. I'm trying to go. Sorry, Vic, as soon as I saw the clip, I knew it had to be done. What have we done? What have we got? This is just you know, after I've kicked it into my own head. I kicked it into my head. It's your best chance. It's your best chance. Hada! Oh, did you say that? Did you say that? Why did you say that? It's your best chance. Reload it. Oh, did you say that? Did you say that? Why? If you can't laugh at yourself, you're doing it wrong. What is wrong with me though? Oh dear. Probably why Vic ended up being the sideman with the least goal scorers. Reference latest more sideman video. Come closer. I need, I need, I need sideman to scream do the unpaid worker in the next football video. That moment is too elite. You can't, you can't just recreate that moment because it happened straight afterwards. You, I, so you're risking it because if you say that and nothing great happens, you've wasted it. You have to leave it immortalized as a moment. So according to JJ, March 2020 was two years ago. It's taken us how long? A year? Two? I thought this was weird. You'll see my reaction. It was it was earlier this year we reacted to Reddit. Yeah, I mean, it's been a long year, but it hasn't been that long. The ultimate crime-fighting duo, Batman and <laughs> Mini Vic Soros Robin. Mate, if they pull up on your block, you ain't getting no crime done. Can't believe they actually violated him like that. Can confirm Vic does not hold a record for the largest eyebrows, but we happily accept his application. Fuck you, Guinness World Records. That was on a Sidemen Reacts video. What are Guinness World Records doing watching Sidemen Reacts? I've done most of the Sidemen and thought it was about time to make Vic. It's not very good, but I hope you like it and hope it fixes it. That's awesome. That's dope. I wish I had a beard like that. Could you imagine if my beard was that clean? Maybe I need to get on the hype and get the, the beard enhancement, whatever. But yeah, no, that's good. That's good. Thank you, Schmuckster. I appreciate that. Who misses Vic Rage? I mean, thanks to Among Us, you don't have to miss Vic Rage. But this made my blood boil. GTA was one of the original places. I swear if this person finishes... I'M FUCKING PISSED! <laughs> <laughs> ah! So I'd already been stopped about three times from getting up this ramp. The same fucking guys followed me up three times and knocked me off. <laughs> don't say that lightly. He's gonna hit the stew because he's. I swear, I swear. Out. No! <laughs> oh, away, you fuck, fuck all of you! Oh, ah! Fucking loser! Get out of the way! Oh, oh, mum got scared and she bought her. I left her right. Oh, you prick! <laughs> <laughs> you I don't know if he was actually <laughs> trying to <laughs> fuck me up or not. Oh, prick! <laughs> this, this cunt! <laughs> this cunt! Right here! <laughs> Please tell me I'm making it. <laughs> He's done. He did that and got me five times. Oh my god. GTA was elite. Oh my goodness. I can't wait for GTA 6. That is going to be a redemption story for gaming for the Sidemen, I'm telling you. Alright, so next, I thought it was going to come up in a Reddit post, but I guess a lot of you are good at keeping secrets. As you may all know, JJ decided to send me something a little fun. So this, this is where it started. Postman knocks at the door. Says, hello, mate. You got a letter you need to sign for. I'm like, yeah, fine, no worries, mate. Gives me a weird look, and then hands me this. What the fuck is this? Sniff panties. Sniff panties .co .uk. Genuine used panties from genuine women. What? <laughs> JJ, so you can see the cogs turning in right his head. What? Guaranteed pleasure. <clears throat> oh, and look, they're worn for more than two days. What the fuck is this? Make things worse, the wife saw. She went fucking apeshit thinking I'm some sort of fucking perv. Especially when this is hanging out. Oh, well, my be, it's only a bit of fucking my. lace. The only thing that was in it was that. Whoever sent me this. Mad. That is amazing. That's an amazing prank. Oh my God, I should send that to you. Fucking JJ, hold man. Up, hold up, hold up. This oh, guy. Oh my God. This guy, this man. This is amazing. Let me send it to a few people. All right, I bought for Vic and... <laughs> I bought for Vic and Josh. All right, so obviously, 
We're going to have to keep it hush. So <laughs> don't tweet them. Don't say anything about this to them. Let's keep it quiet. Keep on the low. And we'll see what happens, isn't it? <laughs> just a little prank. Just Wouldn't you like prank. to know, JJ? Don't watch my video, so we're blessed. Let's see what happens. Well, wouldn't you all like to know what happened? So obviously JJ picked me and Josh because we live with our girlfriends. My girlfriend received this through the mail. <laughs> Please be gentle, posty. Pussy pops, lollipops that have been in forbidden places for your pleasure. So this is rocked up in, in our, uh, our, our post box thing and uh, I hear from my girlfriend like, Vic, and I'm like, oh no, oh no. I, I, I head over, fortunately, she's pretty smart. She turned it over and read at the bottom, right here it says, please note this is an envelope, it's for novelty purposes only. It does not contain any traces of female bodily fluids. Contents are one Christmas card, one sealed lollipop. This prank was ordered, um, hope you see the funny side. <coughs> I'm like, yeah, I'm pretty sure that was JJ. I saw people saying there was some sort of prank going on, but I didn't want to ruin it. So prank has happened and you think it's over there, but here's the problem. In our building, we have a, a concierge team. There's about 10 people on the concierge staff and any one of these people could have received this envelope, signed for it, by the way, then taken it and put it in our mailbox. So any one of the 10 or all of the concierge staff in our building could now think we're complete freaks. Like there's no way you go and deliver a, a, a letter like this to someone if you don't say anything about it. So like, what do we do? And instantly my girlfriend, she goes, why don't we just go and say it was sent to the wrong address? It, it was meant for somebody else. I'm like, it's got my name on it and our address. That looks so guilty. Like, yeah, we got some uh, some, some pussy pops delivered. Yeah, it was, wasn't us, it must've been somebody else. So we had to take the letter down down and really awkwardly say like whoever received this this envelope it's a prank it says so here it wasn't us can you let whoever signed for it know that we're not weirdos it's a prank and they, it was it was it was awkward for sure you know what, actually let's let's open it up let's see what, what what the christmas card is we've got at least that going for us but we're gonna have to get JJ back as well. JJ, I'm, I'm gonna get you back with something because this is fair game. Like, you'll wanna know, you know, it's gonna be 1 1 soon, and I'm sure people have got great ideas for me. Okay, so here we go. <laughs> Merry Christmas, sucker. It's just some pussies with lollipops. What was you expecting? I get it. I get it because cats, ha. Huh? <laughs> JJ's written, Vic, you dirty, dirty boy. So he's, he's posted this himself. He's gone to the post box with this, unless someone else wrote it in for him. And we've got, uh, we've got, we've got a heart shaped lollipop, which even though this is like an innocent prank, I don't, this is going in the bin. I just don't want anything to do with this. But you know, fair play JJ, but we're gonna get you back. Just, just, just wait, just wait. Oh, here we go. Pokemon are in right now. We've got the Sidemen Pokemon. Okay, so what have we got? We're, we're all shinies, that's good. Pokemon power dissimulation, really love is his move. We rate that, we've got Haroldinho. So what have we got? When he makes contact with, he makes cry with laughter in the comment section. Wrote sure, one seventh. His ability is one seventh of the Sidemen. That's peak. <laughs> that is very peak. Okay, we've got Ethan. How to be Bazinga is his power move. And uh, his Pokemon power is weight loss. We've got Toby. Um, when Toby's on the football pitch, he makes his team 10 times better. And his move is called Toby Jizzle again. Oh, okay. Uh, we've got... Simon, whenever he makes contact, he makes he makes hug and love in the comment section. Okay. We got Vicstar. Whoever he makes contact with <laughs> makes makes what is that? Makes entertains and inspires in gaming. Okay, we take those. We take those. And then we've got Josh. When Josh is making videos, he makes bangers on bangers. You know what? I rate that. I rate that. Not a great picture of Josh to be using there, but I took that picture in Abu Dhabi, funnily enough. But yeah, no, that's a cool concept. I rate that. I rate that. One last one. The reason why Vic left the Sidemen house. Here we go. Vic, do you mind, mate? <laughs> I had headphones in. Yo, Vic! Are you serious? I was putting ten toes down. <laughs> These buggers. I was about it, you know. I was... <laughs> Vic Star, you've been running. Guys coordinated a fucking mission on me. <laughs> the, I'm pretty sure the treadmill. Oh wait, is it facing away? I'm still running away. Where's the audio? 
Oh, here we go. <laughs> him in the ball. <laughs> I was baffled, you know. I was fully baffled because I was just trying to have a run. I had no idea this was going to happen. And the football didn't get me, so he tries to pull me off. I probably booted him in the ball, you know. I'm like, what the fuck are you doing? I'm just going for a run. <laughs> That's Vicstar in, in a nutshell. The gaming headphones on the treadmill. I don't care, okay? I'm a real one. Always stay locked in. <laughs> Well, that is going to conclude this Reddit video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, all of that good stuff. Make sure you are subscribed, turn on notifications. I'll see you all on the next one. Thanks and peace out.